Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm going to be talking about the game yesterday at Brentford. I know that I promised a video yesterday immediately after the game to review it, but I didn't feel particularly good about the football that I saw yesterday. Nuno, in his post-match interviews, were talking about how good and how positive the match was and how we saw some beautiful football. Unfortunately, for the first time this season, I disagree with him and... I thought it was quite a lethargic display, the players looked quite tired, they didn't look motivated or up for the fight at all. We came up against a team in Brentford who were eager to win or certainly to avoid defeat as they'd only picked up one point from their opening four games and they were resilient and they st stuck behind the ball and they were difficult to break down. Also, arguably, they had the best chances, they didn't get them on target but if they had a, had a striker who could put away simple chances that they got they we'd have lost that game quite easily so in retrospect to come away from that game with a point is a good result and we could look back at it later on in the season and say look how much pressure we were under and we came away with a point but a team like Brentford now for us and where we want to go to we need to be beating them and we didn't have we didn't create enough chances to be able to realistically say we deserve to win that game one player stood out yesterday, uh, Diogo Jota, I thought had a good game, lots of dribbles, taking the ball forward, but then he was let down by the players he was passing the ball to. Bonatini in particular I thought had a poor game yesterday, whereas last week I thought he played quite well against Cardiff as a pivot for most of the attacks. So he was poor yesterday, lost the ball quite often. I thought Vinagre, who came in for Barry Douglas, who was injured, played okay. Not as good as we'd seen him against Southampton or Yeovil because I think... In those games, there was a little bit less pressure on him and he was a little bit f more free to run uh, and attack. Whereas yesterday, he was required to defend quite a bit and he didn't he didn't do anything wrong, but there was a few mistakes there that were not not particularly good. Neves and Saiz in the middle of midfield as well were poor. I think both of them. Neves was substituted, but it could have been Saiz as well. He misplaced a lot of passes. And they failed to create a lot from midfield, which has been a, a strong point for us so far. But it let us down yesterday. Cavaliero came on at half time as well and he looked lethargic and tired and not didn't look at it at all. Perhaps Nuno's overexerted them with all the training and the games we've played Monday uh, sorry, we played midweek Saturday, midweek Saturday for the last three weeks. But that is the reality of the championship and the players now will go and enjoy a couple of weeks off for the international break and gotta come back stronger and learn from these mistakes as Nuno has been saying throughout this season so far we have to learn from everything that has happened and we've come up now against two sort of gritty old-fashioned managers in Dean Smith and Neil Warnock and we've come up short against them the teams that we have beaten Slutsky, Monk and uh, Rowett who are these young up-and-coming fashionable managers or foreign managers We've come, we've done well against them because they've tried to play football, whereas Brentford and Cardiff look to stop us from playing football and restrict us. So we need to come up with a way of playing against teams like that because we've got Millwall next, who are going to be exactly like that. If you went to the game yesterday or if you listened on the radio or watched perhaps abroad, then let me know what you thought of the game yesterday in the comment section down below. What would you change now going forward? Who would you bring in in the last couple of days of the transfer window as well? Don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a couple of weeks after the international break.